This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson. We're selling this vehicle. It is a 2003 GMC Yukon Denali. It is a 6.0 four-wheel drive. Actually, it's all-wheel drive. Um, it's on a salvage title due to theft. We purchased it directly from an insurance company. Um, insurance companies generally, probably eight or nine out of ten times, whether they're showroom mint condition in the wrapper or their whatever uh, give them a salvage title they don't want the liability of selling them on a clean title you get them you run a stoplight find out Allstate used to own it Allstate's got lots of money lawyers like lots of money so that's how you end up with a salvage title on a car that's never been wrecked um, they just that way if you run a stop sign you can't say oh it was a clean title and that means that it was a good car and uh, anyway so that's how what we have here anyway uh, it's got some great um, off-road tires on it lots of tread on these um, it's a black vehicle so of course it's got uh, the black paint issues the hood has a lacquer checking I don't know if you can see that but uh, fairly common in black especially in the southwest with the sun beating down on it you get that um, and it's got the scrapes on the bumper corners and whatnot. Um, if it was a white vehicle, <laughs> you would hardly notice this stuff, but on a black one, uh, it sticks out like a sore thumb in some places here. Here's your passenger front tire. Looks like this is a scratch it there. See a little lacquer checking there. There was a pretty significant touched up scrape right there on the quarter panel. A little bit more here. There you go. Give you time to soak it in. There's your uh, passenger rear tire. Rear bumper looks good. Tailgate looks good. I saw a little bit of a touch up right there. A little like a real small right there. It's not a beauty queen, that's for sure. It, it, does, it's, it looks good, but it's not a beauty queen. And like I said, if it was white, I would be saying it's in pretty good shape uh, paint wise. But it's black, so I've got to say that it's got black paint issues. I'll tell you one thing, though, it's got a really high set of rubber on it, Firestone off road tires that are worth a fortune. There ain't got to be a thousand dollar set of tires. Anyway, this side looks really good. See some little things around this door lock. Other than that, let's go look at the roof real quick. Nothing to report up here. You got your OnStar antenna, which is surprising. And you got your XM antenna over there. Um, usually they take those off. So that indicates to me that they weren't gone long with this car. Um, usually when they get them for more than a couple minutes, they have those things off. All right, there's your uh, fenders. It's your passenger fender. Here's your core support. Here's your motor running. You can hear it. That's really a nice running car. Let's see. Put you right down in there. You're right down in there listening. You got a new battery. Here's your uh, passenger fender. Probably being a little hard on it as far as the paint's concerned, but the passenger side looks great. Uh, it's got those little nicks around the door handle. The hood is lacquer checked. There's a little scuff on the front passenger edge. The tailgate and the rear bumper look good. The real problems that you might want to fix is you might, I mean if you care, 
This should just be a people mover, in my opinion. But uh, he's right there. That scrape. It's got a little bit of a push in dent like right here. It looks like somebody got a little too close to something at the drive through The rest of it looks great. I am being a little harsh. I think it actually is a pretty good looking car. I'm just kind of a clean freak. And uh, I like things perfect. This is the third seat. I'm just looking over the back of the third seat. Nothing really to look. The interior looks really, really good. And they usually steal the third seats out of these things. So another indicator this vehicle wasn't gone very long. There's the panel for the passenger rear or driver rear door. There's your third seat again. The carpet. There's really nothing to report. Just came back from detail. That out of the way. It looks great. Gosh. The interior of this car is really, really good. And I just noticed that they're heated rear seats, front and rear heated seats. There's your buttons for the heat right there. Just like that. Um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Here's your door panel. Got your heated seat buttons. Boom, 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 boom. Memory, got the pedal adjust. There's that. You got your bows. You got your power seat. That's working. That's working. Let's see the back. That's working. Got a little bit of a stain right here. It's not a tear, it's kind of a stain right there. I don't know why the detail shop couldn't get that out. That looks pretty simple. All right, let's see, there's your passenger seat, nothing going on there, got a little bit of wear on the little knobs here on the center console, let me see how these things work, there you go, and, uh, pull it up, let's see, so then you've got, that thing doesn't want to shut, I guess the clip on that is probably not working so good. What's in here? You got a little compartment to hold stuff with. You got a, that deal. You got a factory. I think that, that would be a factory DVD player if you wanted to put one in the back. Because it's got a CD player in Dash. Oh. Now we know who stole it. <laughs> we now know who stole it. <laughs> oh, boy. Our brothers to the south. Um, you got OnStar, I don't want to push that and have them calling me and bothering me during this video. Let's see. There, you can hear the air come on in the back. That's off. That's on. Alright. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Dual control air, dual side air. Turn that on. Oh, yeah. That's blowing nice and cold. Perfect. Also has a factory cassette player. This is kind of old school. Let's see. Let me turn this down so you can hear me. Let's see. Let's turn the power on and see if the controls for the steering work. Yes, they do. All right. There's that. All right. Look at the controls. I mean, the cluster, I'm sorry. 85,063 miles. That's the whole picture. Let's see. Get some hours. 1,296.1 hours. That would be low for that many miles, which tells me this thing lived on the inter interstate probably. Another good thing, which kind of, I mean, usually you'd have more wear on the steering wheel. There's The steering wheel looks brand new. Um, so I would say that this thing wasn't driven anything but highway miles. That's a guess. I don't know for that to be a fact, but the signs are there. Let's see. You have a tilt wheel there. You have cruise control, obviously, there. All right. Let me uh, take you on a little trip here down the road. And that'll be that. Anyway, this thing's a, this thing's a nice rig. 
Um, when it showed up, it was just filthy. Um, of course, that's me being the crazy OCD clean freak. Um, everything is dirty that doesn't come directly out of the shower and <laughs> or the detail shop or whatever. Anyway, these are our roads that look like hell. Um, these are courtesy of 9.1% taxes, which they want to raise. Proof that raising taxes doesn't work. It doesn't mean anything. It's the dumbest thing in the world. You should reduce them or eliminate them, and then everyone gets to have their own money. Anyhow, that's my rant. Uh, boy, this thing has a great ride. For those off-road tires, uh, man, beautiful car. Anyway, if you can deal with a little bit of black paint issues, um, this thing is a fantastic truck. I mean, I love this thing. Very strong runner. Um, it's shifting, no vibrations. Even with those off-road tires, there's not a whole lot of extra tire noise due to the aggressive tire uh, tread. Um, I would drive this thing to New York in a second, right now. Um, I'm going to stop and do a stopping start. You can watch the cluster roll here. All right, here we go. We are stopped. Wow, this thing runs great. Uh, there is zero to worry about here mechanically. A um, little bit of paint issues and that's it. Um, please get on this early and off and make sure you get your deposit in um, so that we can actually hold it for you until you have it paid for. Um, just because we've agreed on a price doesn't mean it's a done deal. Um, agreeing on a price locks that gets locked in with a deposit. We've had that issue. We're selling a lot of cars right now. People see the value in our cars, and uh, you know we can't just tell somebody who wants to hand us a bunch of money they can't buy it when we don't have any money uh, as a deposit from whoever we agreed to with. So anyway, sorry for the speech, but I don't want anyone screaming at me anymore. <laughs> All right, we don't do screaming well. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. Be safe.